With that comes a lot of working with local governance. And we had a great time. We got some of the best mayors here. We got the best mayor Winter Garden's ever had right in front of me here, Mayor John Reese. The best mayor Coe's ever had, Rusty Johnson. Him. And Kathy Stark, the best mayor and the longest serving mayor Oakland's ever had. So give these guys a round of applause. But when I tried to work with Orange County government, it just really was different, and it kind of shocked me. And it wasn't necessarily the staff of Orange County government, some tremendous people there, but there was a real leadership crisis at foot, and that's what I started to see. So what I started to do was go to all my wonderful friends. You see some wonderful friends in this room, and many of them were asked by me, you need to run for Orange County Commissioner in District 1. We need somebody to do this. And a lot of the times the finger got pointed back at me, and here we are about a year and a half later of starting that mission. So we're working at it. We believe that community is so important in leadership that if you say that you're for the community, that's a wonderful concept that everybody says, but you really have to be in the community and of the community. So that's one of our pillars of our campaign is focusing on community organizations, community involvement, because that's what it really takes to make a community thrive. The other thing is, if you look at Orange County, you'll see that often more than 50% of the development permits in Orange County's uh, system are all from District 1 Orange County. And District 1 Orange County is not 50% of Orange County, it's one-sixth of Orange County. So that's a tremendous amount of development happening out here. So the problem that we find is when you have a elected official that refuses to meet with those developers that by right can be developing on that property. You have the interest of residents who might not agree with certain things that are being done. It's the role of the commissioner to come in between and work together with those private developers and the residents to get partnership mentality solutions. Because what happens is these developers, they're very smart people. And that's what they are, actually. They're, they're people like you and me. They're good people. They, they don't have horns and a tail and hooves and all like, they, like you might think if you watch too many county commissioner meetings. They're real people. They have rights to develop. But we also love our green space, especially out here in, in, in West Orange County. Uh, commissioner Poland with the uh, Oakland Nature Preserve. Amazing. That's, we need more of that in Orange County, not less. Friends of Lake Apopka, I think Joe Dunn's in the room. Um, so these are the kind of things that we love, but we also realize development's going to happen, and it can happen to the benefit of our residents. But what these developers do, if they don't get to talk to their commissioner, well, half of you know what they do. They go shop their votes with the other five commissioners. And guess what? They get those votes. So what happens is the development occurs. Here, the people of West Orange County in District 1, they're left without a say because the commissioner refuses to speak to them. So that's not how I built my businesses. That's not how I built relationships. I believe in partnerships. So that's what we're going to move forward with. We're going to have a very, very different uh, Orange County District 1 moving forward. And it's going to be a partnership mentality.